Hey friends, glasses with pearls, Ugh, and my favorite tie-dye tank top. This is one thing too many. Uh, anyways, anyways, I'm getting ready to go out and have lunch with Kiki. We're going to a Chinese Peruvian restaurant. Pray for me. It, her idea. Sure, I'm game. I'll go uptown and do that. Anyways, uh, today is uh, August 15th, which is the anniversary of the night that Hairspray the Musical opened on Broadway in 2002. I loved Hairspray the Musical. I ended up working the first three days they loaded into the theater. I helped wardrobe just get settled and throw out a lot of stuff and organize a lot of stuff. That was all I did on that musical, but I loved it. It meant a lot to me. Now they put out, let me see if I can show you this, um, like a big book on the show, like with all the lyrics and all the stuff and all the, all the, all the. So um, I saw it in previews back in 02. Now I hadn't been so, I was not sober at that point. I didn't get sober until 03. But um, in this book, Harvey Firestein had journal entries and like emails to his family and friends back home. And uh, I want to read you something that he wrote while the show was out of town in Seattle before it came to Broadway. This was after their first preview performance in Seattle. He wrote, Truth is, I am exhausted. The cast and crew are in the hotel bar downstairs celebrating, but I think I will keep to myself and reflect on how different this life of mine would be now be if I had not realized one moment of sanity six years ago and reached out to ask for help I was so desperately needed I think I will stay upstairs in my room and take care of my voice and count my many blessings family friends animals sobriety and my capacity for joy love to you all Harvey now we talk about in sobriety um, seeds being planted now when I read that it was one of those like boom moments for me uh, I did not get sober, as I said, until the following uh, December. I dragged along the bottom for a lot longer than that. But I know that reading that in this book from Harvey Firestein, someone that I respected so much, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> Planted a seed for me. Now, flash forward. I get sober. A few years into sobriety, we're doing the Broadway Cares annual Easter Bonnet competition. I forget what show I was even working on at the time, but I got a call from Broadway Care saying, uh, the revival of La Caja Fall, starring Harvey Firestein, they need help with a bonnet. They want to do a thing, blah, 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 blah. It was a big deal. I helped them. I did it. Harvey wore it. The day of the event, while I'm standing in the wings with Harvey Firestein, for one of the briefest moments we ever had together, adjusting that bonnet on his head, I looked at him and I said, Harvey, I read your diary entry in the Hairspray book about getting sober, and it is one of the things that helped me eventually find my way to sobriety. So thank you for that. And he looked right at me and said, isn't it so much easier? <laughs> so anyway, when I look at the, uh, oh my, uh, at the anniversary of Hairspray's opening, I think about that moment too. And uh, everybody plants seeds for everybody else. And I, and I know that uh, through my honesty and my videos about my own sobriety, and, and maybe it's planting seeds for somebody uh, that you know or for you. So anyways, it is so much easier. Anyways, happy anniversary to Hairspray and I'm gonna go eat some Peruvian Chinese food. Bye.